Hi, welcome to Mama Space Yoga. I'm Katerina, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to start a meditation practice if you've never done it before and why you might want to try. So, what are the benefits of meditation? Well, a lot of people know about meditation for stress relief, and it can do that, but what it's really doing is helping you let go of thoughts that don't serve you so that you can be fully present in this moment, right here, right now. Because life is really just a string of present moments. There is actually no past that you can go to besides in your mind, and there is no future that you can go to unless you're thinking about it. And the only thing that you can fully experience is right here, right now. And by practicing meditation, you're going to have a richer life experience in the moment that you're in. The more that you think about the past, the more depressed you might get, the more you think about the future, the more anxious you might get. So this also really does have an effect on mental health. But some people also do end up feeling a little bit more anxious. Things might come up that they're ready to let go of, but they don't know how in meditation practice. So just know that if you start to feel more anxious, that's okay. That's just your ego. All of the conditioned thoughts and feelings that you've had from the past coming back up to the surface where you can look at them and then choose to let them go. And if this is the case, there's some practices that we have here at Mama Space that can help you move past them so that you can really start to enjoy every moment of your life to the best capacity. So there are a lot of different techniques for meditation practices, and all of them have different outcomes. And I'm just going to talk about a few of the more popular ones, but know that there is a whole world out there that you can explore if you want to. One of the best ways to get started with meditation is by doing a guided meditation practice. This helps you just train your brain and become familiar with how exactly you go about focusing on the present moment. How exactly can you let go of the thoughts that are not serving you? And how can you fully enjoy and take advantage of what's right in front of you? And a great method of doing this that will also help induce more relaxation into your nervous system is by doing the body scan meditation. And we've got a video for you to do that if you want to. Another thing that you can start to practice is mindfulness or present awareness. And this is really just a practice of being here right now doing whatever it is you're doing. So this is an awesome practice. This is how I got started because I really did not like the idea of sitting on a cushion quietly in a room by myself and focusing on something. That just sounded awful. So if that's you, that's fine because you can just start practicing mindfulness and still get a whole lot of benefit, maybe all of the benefit of meditation by doing that. And what does this mean? It just means being where you are and doing whatever you're doing without distraction and without allowing your thoughts to carry you somewhere else. So some places, some ways that you might want to try doing this is by going for a mindful walk and just slowly noticing I'm lifting up a foot and I'm putting it down and I'm lifting up another foot and I'm putting it down and I'm lifting up the foot again and I'm putting it down and oh, there's a breeze and oh, there's a flower, but as much as you can, not labeling what's going on, but just bringing your focus in on the experience in the present moment. And as you notice thoughts arise, just letting them go and refocusing on what you're doing. Another place that you can practice mindfulness or that I really like to practice mindfulness is while doing dishes or folding laundry. And if you turn the radio off and just let yourself be there doing the dishes, smelling the soap, noticing the feeling of the water on your hands as it flows, noticing the sensation of the sponge, noticing the sound 
that is happening as you lift up a dish and you scrub it and you rinse it off. Noticing all of those physical sensations that your senses are offering you and noticing also when thoughts come in and refocusing on the sensations that you're having as you do the dishes. And what's really cool about this, whether it's dishes or laundry or even just closing your front door and walking to your car or whatever it is, the more you do those things with intention and mindfulness, the more those neural patterns are going to start connecting in your brain so that you start to drop into that present awareness space automatically without even intending to do it eventually. So right now, because I've been practicing this for a while, when I go to do dishes, unless I have a TV screen in front of me to distract me, I just automatically go into this meditative space and I really enjoy it. Not only am I getting more out of the experience of doing the dishes, but I'm also training my brain in that moment to focus in on the present moment and let go of all the thoughts that are not serving me right then. So that's That's another really great practice that you can start to do. And whatever it is, you can just choose one thing that you'd like to do intentionally and mindfully and practice being there while you do it and practice noticing your thoughts as they come up and then refocusing on what your senses are telling you rather than what the voice in your head is telling you. So that's present awareness, also called mindfulness. Another thing that you can try to do is a standing meditation. Now, this is a little bit more like the traditional idea that you might have of meditation where you're sitting quietly in a cushion, but instead of sitting, you're standing. And one way to do this is with something called universe stance. And that is a old Qigong practice that's been around for thousands of years that helps you not only tune into what is happening right here, right now, and in your body, but also release tension that might be stored there might be stored there for years, maybe even from childhood. If you practice universe stance enough, eventually your body will just restore itself. It'll release that tension automatically and come back to a more open equilibrium state where you can really just be present and experience what's in front of you. So I highly recommend checking out that video that we have so that you can learn how to do universe stance and see if you think it's as amazing as I do. But P.S. If you have resistance to any of these practices, that might be a sign that you should really commit yourself to it and try it out for a limited amount of time. So say, okay, well, I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to try it for 30 days. And the reason that I encourage you to do that is because the things that we resist the most are usually the things that have the best medicine in them for us at that moment. So if you really have an aversion to any of the things that I'm talking about, Think about trying it. Just try it out. You don't have to do it for the rest of your life. Just try it out for 30 days and see what happens. All right, so we talked about universe stance. Now we can also talk about just sitting and focusing your thoughts. Some people, when they're doing a seated meditation, just like to focus on the sense of aliveness in their body. Some people like to focus on the breath, just noticing my abdomen is rising with the inhale and releasing with the exhale. Maybe you wanna notice the feeling of the breath coming in and out of your nose and just focus right here, right above your lip as you feel the breath coming into your nose and out of your nose. Maybe you want to focus on a specific chakra. I'm not gonna get into all of that, but that is another method that you could use. You might also want to focus on a mantra. This is especially helpful if you tend to be an audio learner. So you might want to just repeat either out loud or in your head, OM, or OM MANE PADME HOM, which means I am the jewel of the lotus flower. Lotus flowers grow from mud and they rise up to this beautiful beautiful expression of just glorious flowerdom (laughs) in a pond. So that's a really nice uh, metaphor for you transcending the mud that life might present to you sometimes, but still being this beautiful expression of life above it. So if you want to bring that into your awareness and into your life and really manifest that, you could repeat Om Mane Padme Hom. Om Mane Padme Hom. Um, Another one that you might want to try repeating is I am, 
And this gets pretty existential and can have really powerful effects. So if you're ready for that, you might want to try repeating the mantra, I am, and see what happens there. This is really going to help you tune into the observer of action, tune into the inner self more than the outer expression of what's going on. Another way that you can do that is by repeating so hum, which is the Sanskrit translation of I am. And you might want to do that in coordination with your breath. So breathing in so, breathing out hum. And these are all just options. You can play with these and see what works for you. There's a lot of other mantras that you can try repeating. You can just Google it online and see which one calls out to you. If there's one that seems especially enticing, try that out. Try repeating it as you meditate, as you sit on a cushion comfortably with your spine nice and long, and just repeat that mantra. You might want to set a timer or count how many times you do it. If you've ever seen somebody with prayer beads, that's because each time that they repeat a mantra, they go one more bead and there tends to be 108 beads on there. And so you could repeat the mantra 108 times. That's one way to do it. Lots of options. So if you wanted to start with a seated meditation on your own without any guidance, I definitely recommend trying a mantra or you could even just tune in to a constant sound that is nearby. So if you've got an air conditioner running or a dripping faucet, or uh, if it's raining and you hear the raindrops, you could also have a white noise machine going and just tune into that. Whatever it is, just focus in on that sound, that constant sound. And anytime you notice your thoughts come in, just say, up. Oh, there they are. That's what the mind does. It's called the monkey mind. It's very common. There's nothing wrong with it. Just notice those thoughts and bring your focus back to that constant sound. So that's another option. Another option for meditation is to try a loving kindness meditation. And this is really a way to build more self-love, compassion for yourself and all of the world around you, all of the people that you come in contact with and every living being in the world. It's a really beautiful meditation and it can have really powerful effects if you practice it regularly, especially on your relationship with everybody around you. So if you feel like you'd like to be more more loving towards yourself and towards others, then try out the loving kindness meditation. And we've got a video to help you do that too. And finally, you can try doing emotional release exercises or thought retraining exercises. And we have videos on that too that can guide you to really notice those thoughts that are sticking in you, that are not serving you, that are causing you pain or suffering in some way, and teaching you to just let them go, to transform through you rather than avoiding them, which is what we normally do when we have an uncomfortable thought or emotion. We usually just want to either run away or press against it, just make it go away as fast as possible, or we indulge in it and end up with an expression of anger or frustration or something else that doesn't actually feel that good and just makes that thought or that feeling stronger. So if you've got uncomfortable thoughts or feelings circling inside of you that you're ready to let go, then I highly recommend that you check out those videos that will help you retrain your nervous system, let go of those thought patterns, and transform feelings that might be holding you back. So that is just a very brief introduction into meditation. There is a lot more to be said. I hope that you found this clarifying. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see which ones uh, light you up, which ones you resist. And I encourage you to go in the direction that you might not want to go in and just see what happens because you might be amazed at the results.